Hey guys, this is your captain speaking, and today I decided to tackle a little bit of a different subject. So, this is going to be a little dark in comparison to what I usually do, my normal cheerful, like, carefree video game playing, right? Um, but what I'm tackling today is the five most annoying YouTube tricks that I've seen up to thus far as being a YouTuber myself. Now, let's, let, let's get into this because it's a pretty good one. I'd like to imagine it's a pretty good one. So number five is clickbaiters. Now, we all know these kinds of people. They're the special kind of people that go out in the world posting videos about something completely different than the thumbnail would suggest. Or the title. The title would suggest it as well. You know, I'm not going to judge. But, these are the kinds of people that will go out and they'll be like, Oh, look at me, I got a victory royale on Fortnite. And then you go and you watch the video all the way through and it's just this guy who's camping in a bush. He gets a head, or he gets sniped in the head once and he's out of the game. It's, it's one of those... I just wasted my time watching your video because you said that you got a victory and I wanted to see that sweet, sweet, succulent honey coming from your sniper rifle skills that I didn't get to see. Now I'm just disappointed and you wasted my time just so that you could monetize off of my time spent on your video. I don't like that. It's just, it's the stupidest thing in the world. These guys are atrocious. And if, if nobody hates them, then I guess I'm wrong. But as far as I'm aware, everybody hates clickbaiters. But the sad thing is, is that clickbaiters are so finely, like, stuffed into the YouTube algorithm now. That is basic commonplace now to have clickbait on every one of your videos. And it's just absolutely disgusting. It, it kind of needs to stop. Like, right now. Number four. Four. So, number four are the ad spammers. <clears throat> now, I'm sure everybody knows these people. They're the kind of people who make 10 minute long videos simply so that they can monetize off of the video. And then they'll put six to seven ads on the video. It's just like, it's like watching ads with a side of video, you know what I mean? Because there's going to be more time spent watching ads than there is going to be watching videos, which is absolutely stupid. And to be honest, if anybody was smart, they'd just get an ad blocker or they'd click away. But some people actually grin and bear through these videos, and it's just, it's, it's, it's depressing, to be quite honest. Like, I, it's just... Who are you people? I can understand if you're in a situation and you need to make some money quick, but most of the time, the people who put six to seven ads are just greedy little fucks who want to make a quick buck off of a 10 minute video that probably wasn't even their content to begin with. Yeah, I see you. Number three. Um, now this is the current new meta uh, on YouTube right now. It's the drama tubers. Now these are the guys, they'll pretend to be your friend, right? They'll be like, oh, we're gonna be best buddies forever. Tell me all your secrets and I'll tell you mine. But then when you're secretly talking with them, the only thing that happens is you tend to tell them more and more of your secrets. They don't come in at you with any of their secrets so that they protect themselves but then you are very much exposed at this point these are the people who get all the information they need to shut you down they are the people who stir up drama on on youtube they will start fights they will tell secrets that you did not want the world to know and they are just absolutely atrocious people they are the kinds of people that you never want to meet, see, or talk to in your life, but sadly they're there because they are clever. The one thing that they're good at is they are very good at making friends with the people that they want to ruin. You need to watch out for these people. 
because like I said, drama is a new meta on YouTube right now. Everybody's obsessed with seeing drama. Like, for instance, oh my gosh, Jake Paul did this, or Logan Paul stirred a fight with da 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 da. Oh my gosh, they deserve so much view. Even if people hate them, even if people like them, they're getting views galore. And it's the stupidest thing ever. You want to know the best way to stop a drama YouTuber is to not fall for the drama. They devils. <clears throat> That's all I have to say about that. <clears throat> Number two. Now these guys. <sighs> Man, these guys. Okay. These guys are the hidden subscribe link YouTubers. Now I can understand that these are, aren't exactly the most annoying out of all the tricks that you can do on YouTube. But... When it comes to me, when I just want to watch a video and like I need to, I, I need to go get some food because I'm hungry and I press the pause button and the next thing I know the video is still rolling and I see a pop-up come up to subscribe to Yada Yada's channel, I'm just like, the fuck? I just want, I just wanted to go get some food. Come on, this is stupid. And then you close it, and you click it again, and it pops up again. And you're just like, fine, I'll press the pause button in the bottom left. I just hate this. Like, I hate it to, like, a refined diamond shape. I hate it that much. Like, I spent all that time just molding it into the perfect diamond of hate. Like, a hate diamond. It is just disgusting to me that these people can't just, you know... They can't go out and just be like, hey, um, so if you guys enjoyed my video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. Instead, they're just like forcefully pushing it upon you. They're just like, uh, I'm not going to say a word, but I'm just going to put this here. And when you click on it, boom, subscribe to my channel, bitch. Yeah, that's that's the best way I can describe it. And for my final, my number one must most annoying YouTuber tricks. This, this, I mean, it technically isn't really a trick so much as it is a trick. Like, it's a trick on you instead of a trick on the YouTube algorithm. It, these are the people who don't even like to do YouTube. Like... They'll go out there and they'll they'll make videos every every day and you'll just hear this monotone like bored voice coming from the speakers on your headset or your monitor and you'll be like well maybe he's having a bad day today and then you click on every other of his videos and it's the same voice now imagine that this was a comedian right and he's trying to make jokes and everything, right? To make his channel flourish. And he's somehow doing it. And I don't understand how. But he is somehow managing to make his videos flourish. And everybody in the comments is saying, Wow, this is a great video. This is amazing. This is wow. But you personally just know that this guy is not putting any effort into his videos. He is literally not even putting any energy into his voice. It is that bad, but everybody else is saying that his videos are great. I can't understand this. They're the people that don't enjoy making YouTube videos, but they make it anyways. And it's probably just to monetize off of that sweet, succulent monetization as just tell me if I'm wrong, but why is it that people like the boring people, and then when the people are high-sprung and actually slightly comedic, everybody's just like, you're fucking trash, get off of YouTube. I don't, I don't understand it. And in correlation with these YouTubers that don't even like YouTubing, I'm talking about the content thieves as well. Yeah, I see you guys. You guys are the kinds of people that go out there and you take videos and you download them onto your freaking computer and what you do is you basically re-upload them on whatever editing device you have. You flip the screen so that it's not 
qualified as copyright infringement. And then you make these collages of these videos, like, oh my gosh, funniest moments in PewDiePie's life, or funniest moments in Markiplier's life. And so you're basically just showing a whole bunch of videos of these YouTubers who are actually funny, and you're monetizing off of their success. Well, we don't even know a thing about you. We don't know what you sound like. We don't know your personality. You're basically just a thief on YouTube who's succeeding. And it's disgusting. And it just needs to stop. I'm, I'm positive that some of you in the comments are going to be like, You're a trashy YouTuber. You don't understand that these are just normal things that they have to do to thrive in this big universe of YouTube. Don't you understand that there's millions upon millions of YouTubers making videos daily and everything? Yes. Yes, I do. But the simple fact of the matter is that these things are simply just annoying. And most, if not everyone, hates them. If you like them, I don't know what's wrong with you.